Thank you for Patreon now for donating to the Patreon. Hey you guys, it's Vandy, I'm back in Carfight Vanguard, as in Vandy, week of the video. So if I, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed them. Please like, comment, subscribe, and let's watch the This time we have a lot of reveals already, and it's only Monday. I think there's like 26 reveals. A lot of crossover cards again, but whatever, we'll deal with them. And I'm feeling in especially good mood this today because a lot of good things have happened in the last few days. And while I'm waiting for the inevitability of hell to come crashing down on me, I'm going to enjoy this in, um, I guess, excitement high while I can. So let's go get this started, shall we? First up, we have Rubble Pile, Dragon Great Tune SF 5K Shield 10K Base. To my memory, the first card to ever name drop Griffel Gila in its text. Auto when placed on Rearguard Circle. If you have a Vanguard Griffel Gila in its card, name gives us 10k power for the turn cool so it works on ecleptic decimation it works on a um whatever the supreme one is called griffo gila vartex it's a 20k base on the turn it's placed it's not amazing because after that it's just a vanilla especially in brand gate in a deck that doesn't bounce stuff but hey it's a pretty decent beater so one over two of tech and again i say maybe i'm wrong but i'm like 95 percent sure this is the first card bushy revealed that like name drops griffo gila granted it doesn't specify which griffo gila but like has griffo gila in its text then we have a second card that does it which reminds me so much of like dudley reverse from v because of like just his color scheme anyways great on boost 5k shield ak base and baleful crusher one of my favorite cards in terms of art and a card i'm never going to use because it's skill is shit auto rear guard when it boosts anything if you have vanguard griffin against card name again either of the two discard one to draw a card any other cost for that and i would have actually ran this as a four in my brand kick for gilly deck no questions asked I don't care if it was CB1, I don't care if it was Slowbiles 1, I 100%, no questions asked, would have run this in my Griffo Gila deck as a 4 of And if it was a Hydra Gum, which it is not, but if it was, that would be an extra bonus. Man, so close to being a card I actually run just off the basis of what it looks like. Uh, th two of you choose to run it, but I suggest none of it. Then we have Brave Junior Renee, Grade 1 Boost, 5k Shield, 8k Base. Uh, we see the Crescent in the background. Auto Rear Guard, when it boosts a Grade 3 or Greater. If your opponent's Vanguard is a Grade 3 or Greater, but Soul Blasting 1, this unit goes 10k for the turn. Cool, 18k Booster. That's actually pretty solid. You know, it's better than the ones that require the opponent to be a very specific Grade. For them to get that 10k Booster, ahem, ahem, every hate card that they've released against Griffo Gila. Again, I still wonder why those exist, but I mean, since Vartex, we haven't seen one, so I don't really care. Uh, 2 over 3 over an A, it's a nice grade 1 that's an 18k boost, there's not much more I can say about it. Then we have Gigant Tech is Sailor, grade 3 turn personal 13k base, reminding us that Alden is a thing. Auto rear guard when it attacks into anything, if you have a unit with Alden's card name, again, doesn't matter if it's Vanguard or rear guard. And again, that's what I like about the Alden line, because the, it was originally a rear guard that turned into a Vanguard, they have now made a bunch of skill, or every single support card for Alden, except for maybe one or two, just requires you to have a unit with Alden's card name on the board, doesn't matter if it's on Vanguard or rear guard. Anyways, Soul Charge 1, and if that Soul Charge card was a trigger, I guess it was 10k for telling the battle. Cool. Not a hard one per turn, so you find a way to restand it. It can swing for more numbers. Uh, granted, it only swings for 23 per battle, but still, it's a free, granted, mandatory soul charge, but still free soul charge nonetheless. And it basically nullifies both Ald and Soul Blast costs. So, you can't take a Sailor all around. It's a pretty solid grade 3. I like him a lot. And sadly, I don't have space for him in my build, but if I were to scratch out one of the Aldens, he would be a floor of. So, take that as you will. Then we have Whimsical Step or Plateau, Grade 1 Boost, 5k Shield, 8k Base, Cute Little Bunny Rabbit, Cute White Hair, Continuous Guard Circle for every 3 Trick and Treats in your drop zone, I guess what's 5k Shield. Cool. This deck, if you've been paying attention to anything I've said about Trick or Treat, tends to be able to hit at least 5 to 6 on first Grade 3 turns. So that's just a free 15k Shield, possibly before your opponent even gets to Grade 3. So, you know, that's good to have. But then past that, typically on second Grade 3 turn, is let's just tend to double that more or less. So, you know, she goes from a 15k to what? What's double times 5 typically? So 10. She'll go to enough she'll be about like 25 30k shields but that was just a good grade one so two of three of for guard power then we have thing i want to speed run but i'm not going to act well i'm going to speed run it, but i'm not going to speed run in the sense of just cutting it and then just putting music over it i'm just going to just say them really fast and not give my opinion because frankly i don't give two shits uh first up we have start of eternity tomaru tomaru takamatsu granted to a boost 5k shield ak base okay i gotta admit on a very specific card i like its art and this but everything else i feel like this just doesn't fit it either way a standard starter auto and pump second draw card standard starter is just a free drop in one second then we have like the spring sunlight shadow tomaru takamatsu great on boost 5k shield aka base auto when it's placed by riding from start of eternity switch to one hard 
Haru Higa, Higa, Hikage slash Spring Sunlight, reveal it, add it to your hand, and shuffle your deck. Cool. So, basically, it works like the crest cards from any deck that has a crest where you get the starter's draw if you one second, and then you get an extra card, technically, but and then, uh, sadly, you don't get an extra draw out of it, but it's a free extra card by riding on it, so that's cool to know. Then, speaking of that card, I'm not going to try saying that name again. We have Spring Sunlight, Grade 1 Normal Order Song, Cydric, or Cy Cry Chick. After music is played, it is put in the back row of the middle column at the end of turn. Auto input card is put on the rear guard circle. Search your deck or hand for up to one Cy Cry Cry Chick, I'm going to call it Cyric because that's just how I read it. Uh, Cry Chick unit card with grade less than or equal to your Vanguard. Call it your rear guard and shut for your deck. So that's just a free call from deck. That is the... I have never once, or maybe I haven't, I just don't remember it, to, but that is the first time, at least in a while, that I have seen a card that just blatantly says, search your deck for any one card, granted of the specific type, but search the deck for any one card that is grade less than or equal to the Vanguard. That is just free toolbox. Whatever you want in that situation, you just get. Cool. Um, four of... Sure, fuck it, why not? Just, wow, that's cool. Um, then we have In the Same Boat, Sakio Takawa. Grade 1 boost, 5k shield, aka base. Don't quote me on me saying the name wrong, I don't give two shits. Uh, cry Chick. Continuous when this card be called to rear guard of them by a Cry Chick card ability. Put to drop zone instead of rear guard. I see. So also put it to drop if it would be normal card, basically. And then auto rear guard when you non cry chick unit is placed during this turn. Put this unit to soul and draw a card. It's a mandatory ability, so even if you don't want to send her to soul and get that free draw because you don't need to deck you out, you just lose the rear guard out of it. Too bad. So make sure you're running a full cry chick deck to A, abuse the fuck out of this, and also maybe call her by effects enemy. I don't know, three or four, I guess. Then we have another card that shares the same ability. I think this is how they're choosing to balance that. The fact that this is just a free call from anywhere. That it's just, yeah, we're going to balance it out by making all of them. Well, first off, have this required to call them. But also, B, if they're called by any other means, they can't, um, you know, basically be enter the board. Anyways, Quiet Time, Mutsumi Wakaba. Great Dune Star 5K Shield, 10K base. Same ability as the last one with this regard. And the, oh, it's the exact same ability. I forgot about that. Huh, I don't really know how to feel about this. They're having two cards, just of different grades, have word for word the exact same skill. I prefer the grade one off the simple factor of the grade one can boost, so worst case scenario, you can just spawn a board down with them, but I guess they're both three ofs in their own right. Then we have determined to go forward, Tomori Takumatsu. Great turn set 5k shield, 10k base. It's a my go unit, so you can't proc off this with it. Um, auto when wrote upon by Innocent Cry, Tomaru Takumatsu. Look at the top seven. Chip to one my go card from among them. Reveal add a chance to off your deck. Okay, there is the standard search ability I was waiting for. Not search the entire fing deck for one specific card that would change the entire game state. Yeah, sure. Um, Takumatsu, just cool. Two over three of. I'm oh, sorry, wait, no, 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 let me rephrase. I'm not realizing that it has only a road mode upon scale. One of in the right deck, no two over three of in the main deck. Then we have He Ken Ten Ban Soul. Okay, so a non searchable order. Grade two, normal order song, my go. After music is played, put in the back row in the middle, comment on the turn. Auto, rear guard, when your vanguard with Tomaru Takamatsu and his card name attacks. Choose one of your front row, my go, rear guards, and stand it. Except none of these are my goes. And then uh, if your opponent's vanguard's a grade 3 or greater, choose one of your other rearguards and call them as it and stand it. So you get a guaranteed free stand, which is cool. But then, you know, if your opponent's vanguard's a grade 3, you pretty much do a Viamance Bruce and stand the column, except you don't get numbers on top of it. So it's not a bad order, but um, in my opinion, granted it's a free multi-attack, but I like this one more off the virtues of, I don't know, searches the deck for any side trick, cry chick card. If we don't run across another cr cry trick, then this is not nearly as good as this, but I mean, if we run into any others, free deck search, just saying. Um... And then we have scenery you see by advancing without running away. Anon Chia, such a beautiful card. I love her art so much. She looks so beautiful to me. And then we have such an incredibly unnecessary long name. Great Dreams at 5k shield, 10k base. This is one of the two cards I was talking about that has like the good art that combos well with the icon in my opinion. Anyways, my go auto when she's placed on rear guard circle by counter bossing one. Check the top five. Show to one my go unit card. Call to rear guard and shuffle the deck. Cool. If only these were my go units, then they would actually have decent skills. Uh, and then auto for a front row rear guard circle. At the end of battle, she attacked. Bind her to draw a card. Cool. Not a mandatory buy. 
time, but if you wanted to get that draw, it's great. And again, it's just a top five search and call something, and everything so far has been free, so I see no reason not to run this as a four of. Then we have her natural look, Soyo Nagasaki. And this is an example of beautiful name, and sorry, beautiful name, beautiful art. Again, I say, I like her more than I like this one, but name-wise, um... Length speaks for itself. Anyways, my go, all when she's put on rear guard circle, choose one of your units and gives 5k for the turn. It can pick herself, it can pick this, and combo with this, who cares? And then auto rear guard when it boosts a my go unit by soul blasting one until end of battle. When your opponent will call cards to hand to guard circle, they cannot um, call, they cannot guard unless they call two or more at the same time. So, Cool. Force out extra hand cards, and at the end of that turn, you bind her. But on the bright side, at the end of the turn, meaning you can proc off this to stand it. So, all around, pretty solid, decent grade one. Not amazing, not horrible either. I say three over four of. Just a nice card. And then we have Overprotective Lone Wolf, Takashina. Sometimes I question why they choose to use descriptors, and then, like, they don't make it visibly present. There's one specific one that will always linger in my mind. Ahem, ahem, the snowman, for those of you that know what I'm referring to, good on you. If you don't, then um, so be it. There's a very specific reason why I hate that description. But anyways, uh, Takashina, grade one boost, five k shield, AK base, auto when she's placed on rear guard circle. By soul blasting one, look at the top three cards of your deck, you have to one of my go music card from on them. Reveal it, add it to your hand, show off your deck, and auto hand card or rear guard. At the start of your guard step, or the of the battle your unit with Tomaru Takamatsu and its card name is being attacked by binding this unit. Choose a unit being attacked and gets plus 10k on the battle. Must be done before calling guardians or intercepting. So cool. On the bright side, this is not a hard once per turn. It doesn't require your opponent to swing with a very specific unit. It can swing with Vanguard or Rear Guard and this will still proc off as a 10k. And it's just a bind from anywhere. So even if your board is full, you can just keep her in hand as a 10k shield. So, I mean, Takashina, very solid grade 1. Easy 4 of just in this deck because it seems like Tomari is the main grade 3 in a, yeah, free fucking 10k. Then we have found her place, Rana Kaname. Great turn, SF5, Kishio, Tanke base. Auto left row from a rear guard circle. When she attacks, you may have this unit with Psyche till the turn. And if you do at the end of that turn, bind her. So stand targets and get not a hard one to with that number, which is great. And then auto rear guard. Also, I'm just not realizing. Uh, specifically requires left row. And I believe this one requires right. Yep, right and for, or left, respectively. And then auto rear guard when she stands by your music card's ability. Okay, so we found the target. If your opponent's vanguards are great through your greatness, end of turn, she can also perform drive checks for the battle that she attacked. So if I find a way to stand her again, she can just straight up do quad drive, or not quad drive, twin drive. Cool. She has drive checks. There's not much more I can say about it. Four of. And then we have the mural card, or the main card I was talking about, that in my opinion, her art lines up really well and just like makes this icon pop, and that is Innocent Kurai Tomori Takumatsu. So grade 3, 10% of 13k base, my go, act vanguard circle once per turn, by soul blasting one trip to one my go unit card from the bind zone, and call it to rear guard circle, and then if your opponent's vanguard is a grade 3, a grade 2, to two different, two to two, I'm assuming cards with different name, or rear, yeah, two to two different rear guards with different card names from each other instead of just one. Oh, sorry, not two, to two different rear two different cards. So, I was about to say, too, I, uh, I really hope this deck has some way to call it from Bind Zone. And uh, lo and behold, we have a way to call her out from Bind Zone. And if the opponent's at grade three, we can get a way to call two cards, except they have to be different names. Either way, still cool. And then Act Vanguard Circle. The only other card I've been paying attention to. Yeah, this is literally the only other card in the deck that has the counterblast cost. Act Vanguard, if you do not play an order this turn, by counterblasting one, search it to one my go music from your deck or drop zone and play it, and if you search your deck, you shuffle it. Cool. So, this is the only other card, and this you're only going to ever use that if you really have to. So, most of your counterblast goes to her, and then if you have to search, cool. And then, you know, you get your... um calls from binds on that's just a good grade three that's just a four of i i don't see any problems with her i like her art i like the baggy jack i don't know much more to say about this four of and we have Mayo Uta, Song of the Lost Star, Grade 3, uh, Normal Order Song, My Go, after song is played, put into the metal back row center, and then Auto Rear Guard, at the end of the battle, your Vanguard, Tomori, Takumatsu, and his card name Attack. If you have one copy of each, I'm just going to say the entire band, but, uh, you know, Anon Chia, aka the one I like the most in terms of art, um, Rana Kaname, this, where's Rana? This one, um, 
Soyo Nakasama and Takashina, these two respective, which ones? These two respectively. Then you can discard one, stand all of your Maigo rear guards, and if your opponent's vanguards are great, three guards, they also get plus 5k on the turn. Ah, I see. For the record, I didn't read any of these cards until today, so that was my first reaction to that. Um, cool. Border stand. Nice. There's not much more I could say about that outside of that's a three. This is a one of because you can, sorry, not that one. This is a one of because you can search it, but it's a really good searcher, so maybe a two of. This is a two of just because of what it can do, and that's just a flat four because that's a board stand. Unless you're playing, I mean, maybe you're not run, a, run as a four in case you play against board new decks, but I mean, a hey, solid card. That's all I can say about it. Then we have our over and five children starting to advance. Grids over boost, 50k shield, 5k power, over trigger, additional effect shift with five norm units with different card names from your drop zone with the same race as the vanguard and add them to your hand. Okay, now that I've read through the cards, that actually makes sense of why it skill does that. Um, cool. One of the over. And then they have effect triggers, but I don't feel like showing the effect triggers. They move on to our thankfully non crossover cards. Flutter Shower, Dragon Great Tunes, 5k show, 10k base, auto place on mirror guard circle. If you have eight or more cards, your drop zone gets 10k power for the turn. That is a the easiest 20k base I've ever seen in my life. Cool. Two of three of solid card. Then we have a card I'm really happy to see, which sadly I'm never going to run in Zorga, but I mean, especially with all the new... I struggled to put in the new Zorga cards. I'm not taking something out, but it's a card that if I ever want to run in Zorga, I'm going to. Bribe Hopper, Grade 1 Boost, 5k Shield, 8k Base. Okay, first up, Machine Gun for a hand. Second up, his skill. Auto Rear Guard. When he boosts a Vanguard with Zorga and its card name by Karen Boston 1, choose a normal window from your drop zone, I mean, from your bind zone, sorry, and add it to your hand. What I love about this, it's a simple CB1. It adds literally any normal order back from the bind zone to your hand. So in case you make a mistake and bind the wrong card, because maybe you like did things out of order and it kind of fucked you over, you can just replace it and add it back to your hand. Or in case you want to use that order again, add it back to your hand. Granted, it's only a, technically it's a hard ones per turn because it has to boost specifically the Vanguard with Zorgan's card name. But if you find a way to restand Zorga and the back center, hey, he's not a hard ones per turn. So two over three of. Then we have Eyes of Expectation Corsonet. This card just feels like it needs a moon, but it like feels complete without it. Anyways, Grid on Boost, 5k shield, AK base, auto rear guard when she boosts. By counter boosting one, choose one of your units that's being boosted by this unit until end of turn. It gets auto vanguard rear guard circle once per turn. When this attack hits a vanguard by discarding one to one unit card from your hand with a grade less than equal to your vanguard, call it to rear guard. Cool. While the ability it gives is not a hard once per turn, the ability itself isn't. Meaning, if you, you know, have a full back row of these and you boost with them, the entire, you basically get, how many attacks? That's three, and then you get three more, so six, and you're probably playing this, at least in my opinion, in Leafla, so you might even get more, so seven. Cool. Very solid grade one. Lover skill, four of. And then we have Skewed Pain Dragon, our new Brant Gate card from the episode. Grade 2 and 5k shield, 10k base. Auto Rear Guard, when attacks a Vanguard, Karen Boss 1 for every 5 total grade of all your set orders in your order zone. Choose one of your opponent's Rear Guards and murder it, and it gets plus 5k power to the battle. So, you know, if you have 10, you, it's a 20k, kill something. There's always more I can say about it. It's, it's a Rear Guard killer. It gets numbers. That's all I can really say about it. 2 over 3 if you choose to run it. And then we have one who revolves around the galaxies. I expected a longer name out of this, but to be fair, it's a branket card. Great on boost, 5k shield, AK base. All done, place to mirror guard circle. Choose a grade 3 from your drop zone or soul that originally came from the ride deck and put it back into your ride deck. Choose one of your vanguards because it was 10k for the turn. Okay, we have another ride deck. Grade 3 recycler. Cool. Two of, I guess, because it's an 18k, technically, if you call this behind vanguard. Then we have the card that actually makes this good because it's a counter charger. Tip of Enlightenment in Fradios. Great tunes of 5k shield, 10k base, auto and placed on rear guard from the hand. If you're if if there's a face-up card in your red deck with the same name as your Vanguard, counter charge one. That is a non-once per turn counter charge with no strings attached outside of having a recycled ride deck card so suddenly this card which is not that amazing because it's a hard once per game effect suddenly turns into a simple four of if your deck has cb problems because it gives us a free counter charger out of it four of if you choose to run this now we have Perfectionist Luca. Great turn set 5k shield, 10k base. So we go from a card I really like the art of to a card I don't like the art of at all. Auto and retired from rear guard to guard. So if you have a Vanguard Assessment since card name, you can put this card into your soul. I literally just did a match on Assessment and I tried to find new cards from it, and you come out the week after I do this. You know, it doesn't matter. It's a it's an okay card if you want to run it two of, but in my personal opinion, they don't need it.
Next up, we have Carrier Spirits Real, Grade 1 Boost, 5k Shield, AK Base. Auto when she's placed on the rear guard circle by your card's ability, you may solo charge 2. Cool. It, again, like, wh where's the Gigantic Boy? Again, like, uh, Gigantic Boy all the way. Jesus Christ, there's so many cards. Okay, oh yeah, again, like, Gigantic Boy all the way down here. Pretty much nullifies Alden's cost straight up, so that's pretty nice to have. On the downside, she has to be placed by abilities, so, you know, if you wanted to call that 1 Grade 2 by abilities, kind of like 50-50. Unless, you know, you bounce her and then call her back with Alden and skill with the second one so all right she's not a horrible grade one i do think her skill is pretty decent it's a two of warranting but i feel like more than that you're kind of just asking yourself to deck out because like it is a may clause about that point you might as well like run different other units you know then we have stepping into the extraordinary redinio grade one boost 5k showed 15k base Continuous, you cannot write this card. And auto, when she's placed on the rearguard circle, if you did not return a rearguard to your hand during this turn, retire this unit. Okay, works really well with Kyrie for bouncing call effects. It actually works really well with Kyrie, considering this thing becomes a 20k base when you're on live. And with that new grade 1 that searches the grade 4, that's pretty nice. She works well with Memish, which is terrifying, because think about that. A 15k booster with a re-standing vanguard that now has triple drive, or technically quad drive. Yeah, so Randina's all around a pretty solid grade 1, and she's a decent two of to three of in the decks just because um yeah 15k base and lyrical monastery has a bunch of generic cards that allow you to call stuff okay first up we have our final reveals for today first up we have destiny sorcerer randomus great choice of 5k shield 10k base <clears throat> Uh, for Genesis, I want to say this is auto vanguard or rear guard once per turn. When it attacks while well, boosted by soul by counter busting one, you can choose a critical or draw from your soul. Activate that trigger once and put it to bottom. Okay, pretty good support. You know what? It's it's really sad that V's like support had to end because honestly, some of these cards, is, outside of you know sharing this same annoying effect, are kind of cool. Especially like this one, which can auto activate triggers, which works really well with um. What, what, what's it called? It starts with an H, Himiko. But I mean, you know, it is what it is. And then it has the auto top 5 skill. I'm just going to stop saying that skill because at this point, every fucking grade 2 has it. Then we have Electro Absorbent Monster Volker, grade 2 instead of 5k shield, 10k base. Honestly, looks kind of cute. Auto Vanguard or Rearguard once per turn. When it attacks while boosted by Soul Boss New One, choose my opponent's Vanguards and loses 5k for the turn. And if the opponent's Vanguard is grade 3 or greater, it loses 10k instead of 5k. Again, I say it's sad that the V support ended because, like, at this point, we would have a lot better decks. Like, Himiko would be a lot better. We have a lot better, um, what's that deck called? Uh, Zeal? Like, it is honestly sad that they had to end V support. And V was one of my favorite formats, but I mean, it is what it is, and it has the top 5 skill. Then we have our new ride line, Le Verde Hot Société S. So first up we have our start in Le Verde Hot Société Sosodis. Uh, Grades of boost, 5k shield, 8k base, or not 8k base, 6k base. Auto road pipe, one second draw card. Standard starting up is just a free draw if you win second. Though to be fair, she is kind of cute playing her Nintendo, that is a Nintendo Switch. She's playing her Nintendo Switch on Halloween. That's very cute. Then we have Livre Hot Sosora S Hadia, Grade on Boost, 5k Shield, 8k Base, Auto when she's wrote upon by a Grade 2 Livre Hot Sosius S in its card name, you may call its card to Rear Guard, and if you call it, Soul Charge 1, and put this unit back into your soul at the end of the turn. Okay, cool, because it was gonna worry it was gonna worry me for a second because I read what the Grade 2 does, and the Grade 2 kinda needs a bunch of Lavores and Soul, so I thought you were gonna have to gamble on that Soul Charge, but it's good that she can put herself back in there. And then on to Rear Guard at the end of the battle with the she attacked or boosted, if you have a 23k or greater Vanguard with Levite. Associatus Hot S uh, in its card name by putting two or grade two or less rear guards with Lavetta Hot Solstitus S in the different card names to your soul, you get a draw. Okay, pretty good. Cool, because something tells me that Vanguard's going to involve resanding. I didn't see it, I just kind of glanced over it. But being able to send itself and something else to soul is great and get a draw. It has a unique rear guard skill, so for once I'm not going to be crazy to run this in the main deck. And it also has an ability that works with Granite, a very specific grade 2, but uh, right now, but technically any grade 2 that they release that will have that part of the name. So honestly, this is a really good grade 1, and um, I might honestly show this in the deck as a 4 because that's a free 2, two soul and an extra draw, so that's pretty nice. And then we have Lerver Hot Sociedis Camila. Okay, honestly, this looks kind of cute and the chocolate. Uh, grade 2 Intercept 5k shield, 10k base. Continuous Vanguard if your soul has two or more grade 1 or less with Silva Lave Hot Solstitus S in their different card names. When you would ride a grade 3 from your ride deck that has that Lave Hot Solstitus S in its card name from the ride deck, you don't have to discard. So, okay. Okay, and we got the boring non discard skills, but I mean, hey, the grade one's honestly entertaining, so I will accept the boringness on this one. And then Auto Rear Guard, and when this unit is chosen by the ability of Vanguard 23 or 
greater power, Levere Hot, Soul Status S, and his card name, Current Charge 1 and Soul Charge 1. Okay, this alone warrants this being like this part alone warrants this card being at least a two of in the main deck because I can already assume that the deck's gonna have a lot of C being counter charge or soul boss problems. So um yeah, at least a two of, but I mean um so it seems like the gimmick for these guys is just like getting the Vanguard to twenty three K, so give the first trigger to them. Got it. Then we have the one where the moon is very prominent in, and that is Le Vrai Hot Societe Chaudemont. Uh, act thir grade 3 to represent a 13k base. Act Vanguard once per turn, cost counter boss 1, choose up to 2, grade 2 or less cards with Le Vrai Hot Societe and the Carnies from the Soul. Call them to rearguard and they give us 5k for the turn. Okay, yep, and that's why I assumed this one's gonna be useful. I mean, granted, you can keep it in the uh, ride deck, but still. And then Auto Vanguard, when it attacks while not boosted, choose three of your great two or less rear guards with Levea Hot Sorceress and their different card names until end of turn, increase or decrease their power to match the power of this unit. So that's at least a 26k swing on each occasion when it's not being boosted. Okay, cool. And then, um, if this unit's power is 30k or greater while you're doing that, 33k or greater while you're doing this, and your opponent's vanguard's also a grade 3 or greater, by soul blasting 2 until end of turn, the rear guard in the back center row can also attack from the back row and perform drive checks. So you have three opportunity... Okay, you have two opportunities to proc off this ability, and, um... Ooh, okay, sure, cool. We can uh, back row drive check if we get this thing to 33k, which something tells me the support's gonna make that easy. Literally just spams out the soul, and um, there's no reason not to run this as a four of. It, that's just a good skill. It gets multi attack at the very least. It makes everything a 26k base basically, and um, yeah, it, it's good numbers. So uh, four of. And the best part, well, okay, you have to choose three though. So that's the thing. And then we have Living Up Claw Tide, Great on Boost, 5k shield, 8k base, on a rear guard, and the unbalance she boosted. If you have a Vanguard, Levea, Hot Soul, so it's S in its card name. By putting her to Soul, you get to Soul Charge 2. So cool. So if you are running into Soul problems, because technically she doesn't put them back, meaning that if you actively choose not to use Hadia or Clamila's skill for whatever reason, you can use this to help increase the Soul. Or if you're just trying to deck them, that too. Either way, though, it's a decent grade 1, so it's a nice 3 over 4 of, in my opinion. Then we have Dream Splurging Ramona, Great 3 Jumper Snog, Press 1, right? 13k base. Add a rear guard. If you have a Great 3 Great Vanguard, Levere, Hot Soul, Swiss, and card name, put this in another rear guard into your soul to draw a card and choose one of the Vanguards and get plus 5k for the turn. Okay, there we go. It's not a hard one per turn, meaning all you have to do is use two of them and then press one, right? And then you can proc off her full effect. But, um, you know, being able to essentially get two free soul cards and then help increase the hand is pretty nice for the extra 5k. This deck is definitely going to want draw triggers, possibly. So, a very solid grade 3, 4 of also because it allows more targets for the uh, double drive checks. Then we have a Magician's Work Colby, Great Turn Set 5k Shield, 10k base, auto, when she's placed on Rearguard Circle. If you have a Vanguard, if, if you have a Great Three Greater Vanguard, Levea, Hot Soul Source, and his card name, by Kyra Mastering 1, choose one of your opponent's Vanguards, sorry, choose one of your Vanguards, and I guess plus 5k for the turn, and then your Vanguard has 23k or greater draw a card. Okay, so Ramona goes first, and then this one to help kind of replace cards. Okay, very solid Grade 2. This is definitely the 4 of, and so far we're only going to have 2 units that have Counter Blast, so maybe we don't need to run both of these in the main deck now. Um, where are we? It's this one. Then we have Vivid Night Festival Oalius, grade two, one, ba grade one boost, five k shield, eight k base. Auto when she's placed on rearguard circle by ca by counterblasting one, search your deck for up to one grade two or less card. Levea Hot Soul Systems card name, reveal it, put it to hand, and shuffle your deck. And that is why we're going to at least run one copy of each of these in the main deck now, because they are both searchable via this thing. And then act rear guard if you have a great three or greater vanguard, Levea Hot Soul Source card name. By resting it, choose a drop zone card, put it to soul, choose your vanguards, gets with 5k for the turn. Okay, cool. So every bit of one of its support cards add power to it, and then one of them just gets us free soul. So again, if for some arbitrary reason you for oh I'm not seeing like the soul plus two cost of this. Okay, well for some arbitrary reason you start running out of soul. Yeah, there are pretty much all of these except for one of them has a way to soul charge. So um, four of Aurelius, very good grade one, and you're probably gonna find a way to put four of these guys and then two of to three of or like whatever's extra of this thing. Then we have Manic. 
Microcosmic Dragon Mars Storage, our last card for the day. Great dude, Shrimp and Star, 13k base. Again, like last week's Dragon, a badass art wasted on such a, in my opinion, horrible card. Auto, when it's placed on rear guard or put on guard, circle two to one grade four from your hand reveal. If you reveal a card or your vanguard to grade four, apply one of the following. Uh, rear guard, soul charge one, and it gets plus 50, and it gets plus 10k for the turn. Guardian circle, it gets plus 15k shield for the battle. And auto is discarded from your hand for the cost of riding a great three from the red deck, or is the cost for stride, you get to draw a card. Cool, it's a free 10k and a soul charge and it's a 15k show, but that's not much more I can say about it. I mean, if you want to run it, then it's pretty much there from a size and nothing else, but I mean, it's not a horrible card. It's not a great card either, in my opinion, but it, it, it is what it is, so two of three of, and next week we get Leonorn Vices, Vices, I, I don't remember how to spell it, I just remember how, I, well, I kind of remember how to spell it, I just don't remember how to say it, uh, either way, that's it for this one, so I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, next week we got hype for Leonard, so I'll see you all then, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, subscribe follow Twitch, and don't forget to hit up your vanguards. <laughs>